Orleans Pelicans are at odds of plus 7,000 to win the NBA championship, plus 4,100 to win the Western Conference, and plus 1,100 to win the Southwest Division. The New Orleans Pelicans made the playoffs for the first time since 2011, and even though they were swept by Golden State, they pushed the eventual champs in those four games. Anthony Davis continued his ascent towards the top of the NBA, and many believe he is a top three player coming into the season. The Pelicans have a new head coach in Alvin Gentry, who replaces Monty Williams, and there will be a lot of eyes on New Orleans this season. Obviously, this starts with Davis resigning for $145 million over five years, and that came seconds after teams were allowed to announce their deals. If Davis progresses like everyone thinks he will, this could end up being a bargain. Alexis Sajinka signed for four years at $19 million, Omar Asik five years at $44 million, and Dante Cunningham at three years at $6 million. All re-upped, while Kendrick Perkins was brought in for cheap for veteran stability and toughness. The Pelicans drafted Brandon Dawson with a second round pick, their only pick of the draft. The team didn't really lose anyone. Davis was fourth in the league in scoring, tied for eighth in rebounding, and led the league in blocks while finishing seventh in field goal percentage. He also averaged one and a half steals per game, added a jump shot, and now he can apparently shoot three pointers. The league should be very afraid of this 22 year old, and everyone has fallen in line behind him as they know what they have with Davis. Tyreek Evans might be the biggest surprise of all as he filled in nicely at point guard for the oft injured Drew Holiday. Eric Gordon was solid when he was healthy, and he shot 44.8% from three-point land. If Ryan Anderson can get back to where he was in 2014 before he was hurt, the Pelicans will be lethal from the outside. Asik has also formed a partnership with Davis, and the Pelicans were 11th in points allowed last season. The Pelicans have to be wary of becoming a one-man team, and it's very easy to do that when you have a player like Davis, but there are questions around him as Anderson wasn't that good last season and has to be better. Holiday is a walking injury concern, and you never know when the bad Tyreek Evans is going to show up, the one that takes poor shots, and the Pelicans might have to hope that Holiday can stay healthy, because Evans might be better suited for the bench where there isn't much scoring. The Pelicans showed a lot of guts to get to the playoffs, and they're probably a year ahead of schedule because of Davis. But now the onus is on Gentry and the rest of the team to push the Pelicans to the next level. That'll be especially hard in the West, and they might be in the best division in the league, top to bottom. If the supporting cast steps up, the Pelicans can finish third in the Southwest and maybe get to the second round depending on the matchup. However, the reality is that they are still too short in terms of depth and supporting cast around Davis to be truly a power player in the Western Conference. Join us at BetTheSI.com for all the best New Orleans Pelicans betting options, including futures, props, and live in-progress betting during the games. And don't forget to make a few wagers at BetTheSI.com.